Hey, what's going on everybody? This is John Jank Gaming on the mic here, coming at you with a brand new episode of the Earlham Dynasty here in NCAA 14. We are here with our 11th game of the season, where this time we go on the road to play against the Hanover College Panthers. This is one of the most talented teams in the, in the conference from a roster on paper perspective. Their B overall offense, B plus offensive, B defense. We're still F's for our offensive rating, but we have a D minus defense. But our points per game is climbing up a little bit. We're now averaging 17 points per game. And we still have a top 10 passing offense, so we can still utilize that to our advantage. Um, as they have a couple of injuries as well, which is nice to see. Uh, Hanover, what they got going on so far over the course of this season is if I can actually find their guy is their quarterback George he has 2100 yards 20 touchdowns six inter interceptions whereas Woods is their leading rusher 900 yards nine touchdowns with Matt Tillman leading the way 59 catches a thousand yards and 13 touchdowns meanwhile for Earl Terrence Patton leads us on the ground and in the air he has 1,800 yards passing and 200 yards rushing so far this year with 12 total touchdowns and 18 interceptions. Miami Thomas leads the team in uh, receiving yards. He has 54 catches for 637 yards and 3 touchdowns. But with all that being said, let's go ahead and get this game underway between your Earlham Quakers and the Hanover Panthers. Let's get it. man so Hanover is gonna start with the ball and they are putting in the strength of their football team this offense wouldn't call it a defense our strength though as Dane Slaughter gets stiff arm into the next century Orlando Williams first play waking up and choosing violence we give up 20 on that pass play as George will drop back to pass he's looking over to the left hand side finds Gordon Johnson for a five yard gain gets the 10 toes down part of that 10 toes down movement as we got a second and five coming up here as we looks like we got a man in motion it's going to be a halfback counter up the middle it's woods staying on his feet and picking up 11 as well as he's closing in on a thousand yards he comes into this one with 912 yards rushing it'll be a miracle if we can keep him under that century or that 1000 yard mark before the, this game is all said and done as there's another carry up the middle. That goes for another six-yard gain. And it's a second and four awaiting the Hanover Panthers. As now George is going to go ahead, carry it down the right-hand side. Going to go ahead and pick up some more yards as well. Maurice George ending up picking up 11 yards there on the carry. And the Hanover Panthers, man, they are now sitting in the red zone. As George will drop back, throws it over the middle to Tillman. And picks up eight. The Panthers, who are still fighting for an opportunity to go to their very first conference championship game. They got a nice little drive going. They're two games back of Manchester, as you've probably seen on the thumbnail. So they're still fighting for that. They still need some things to happen. That they gotta beat us to stay alive. As now we got second and goal coming up now, sitting at the six-yard line. George dropping back the pass again. Go try to run it into the end zone. Fights forward all the way down to the one-yard line. I'm shocked that they did not give him the touchdown. But still going to be third and goal, though. Going to line up on the left-hand side. We got the edge, but we can't make the tackle. And Brandon Woods enters the end zone. Touchdown, Panthers. And Hanover is going to go ahead and strike first. They get an early 7-0 lead here. And, that, and it's now time for our offense to go ahead and strike back. Quarterback is definitely rattled as we try to throw a dot to Adam Pitts. But we threw him behind. It almost led to an interception laying on the feet of one of the safeties. So it leads to a second and ten now as Patton is in the shotgun. 
Going to try to throw quickly over the middle. Finds Miami Thomas for a quick five. And it looks like Miami Thomas got a little shaken up on that catch as well. Trying to uh, dive for that one. So we're going to have to be without the services of Miami Thomas for right now. As we throw over the middle, we find Henry B. York. And he ends up picking up the first down. Gain of 14. Good for his first catch of the day. And it looks like we find out that Miami Thomas only has a bruised elbow. So we should see him uh, after this drive. But for now, we got to rock and roll without him. But that being said, though, Adam Pitts has a nice little 14-yard catch here. As now we are going to go in. We got second and nine. Patton dropping back on a throw over the right-hand side. Finds Henry B. York again. This time for 21 down the sideline. As we got a fresh set of downs for the Quakers to go ahead and work with here. As now, second and six. Patton dropping back. He's looking around. Going to try to run it himself. Going to go ahead and step out of bounds. And ends up picking up nine to Rain Patton. Really improving his decision making as the season has progressed. Ever since he came back from injury. But then he almost froze an interception. Chris Jackson. He had his fingers on it. But he does not have all states. Because thankfully he didn't have good hands. And so we still have possession of the football. And after that catch by Henry B. York. We got a Fern Free coming up here. Got to try to punch it in the end zone here. Trying to get it to Jared Crosby. And that was a touchdown. But we threw behind him. And Earlham has to settle for a field goal. But not bad first possession for the Earlham Quakers though. As we uh, end up with you know solid drive. Not a touchdown, but hey, we'll take what we can get. Uh, points are hard to come by for this squad. As Hanover on the next kickoff, Michael Carter takes it back. He actually goes a pretty solid way. He ends up getting all the way to almost the 40-yard line. As now we got first and 10 coming up here. Howell moved into motion. Going to go to the right-hand side. Finds Howell once again. A little bit of confusion of man coverage. Uh, nobody made the switch. So it was an easy throw for Maurice George to make. As now we got another throw here on first and 10. Trying to get to the right sideline. But it looks like Jared Crosby breaks it up. And so that's I think that's our first incompletion that we forced. And now we got second and 10 now as George will again come up throwing. And finds Johnson who's taken down by Jared Crosby. He was looking for the face mask. They're not going to get it this time around. We got to play a little bit more discipline. Yards are too easy to come by. As now we got another first and 10. Johnson being sent to the motion. It's a play action. Throw it to the right side. It's nearly caught. Dane Swatter had his hands on it, but he can't make the grab. We got to be great there, my guy. We got to make that play. But instead, it's second and 10 now. George scrambling to the outside. Gets back Dane Swatter. Who ends up getting caught from behind by the same person. But still able to pick up the first down. Have to do a better job of containing the outside. Making it too easy for the running lanes right now. As we continue to get gouged on the ground. Another 11 yard gain for Brandon Woods. As he's able to have his way here early. Is now first and goal. Going to go to Brandon Woods up the middle. He's brought down by Jason Bell. For a gain of 5 yards. As we move ever closer, probably the last play of this first quarter. As we have another run play to Brandon Woods. And he gets into the end zone as well. Touchdown, Panthers. And Brandon Woods gets his second score of the day. And we're only one quarter in as well as that caps off the first quarter. And hand over Panthers, man. They have the early advantage. They're up 14-3 right now. All right, man, so let's get into the second quarter of play. And, of course, we're off to a very bad start as we actually go free and out on our very next possession. So it was back in the hands of Hanover, and they go to Brandon Woods once again, who breaks off another big run once again. We, we tried giving some looks, and we just can't make the t plays. And even when we're there to make the plays, we can't make the tackle. Ivers, Marie G George, shakes one off to get another first down on the ground. Is now first and 10 coming up here. George going to drop back. He's going to look over the middle. Finds Williams. And he's going to truck himself forward for a 21-yard gain, setting up first and goal as the Panthers look to get into the end zone once again here. As we have Jim, uh, Gordon Johnson 
Going into motion. It's a halfback counter again. Brandon Woods going to try to truck in. Was looking for his third touchdown, but he's just one yard shy. We'll see if they go to Brandon Woods here once again. He's sitting in our backfield. Almost get caught offside. They go to Brandon Woods and just like that. Another touchdown for Brandon Woods. He gets his third one of the day. And that makes it 21-3. to At this point, the offense really needs to step up right now. Uh, free and out just can't happen as we give up another sack. Terrain Patton didn't have his chance. Jacob Brooks was the one who brought him down for the sack. And so, handover got to go. We have to go ahead and punt it back off the handover. And this could be trouble. He's got a wide butt no naked lane. He could take this all the way back. But he's forced out of bounds at the 15-yard line. And we do get a little bit of look. Looks like there's a clipping penalty on handover by James Flowers. But even then, that only takes us back to the 36-yard line. Still phenomenal field position for the Panthers to work with as we are just not doing any favors or right there as well as we give up another penalty. This time it's a face mask and they're going to get Josh Hill, a guy that, you know, very good special teams guy for sure. But now we got another first and 10 coming up here after the face mask penalty. Gordon Johnson going to go into motion once again. We got first and 10 now. George going to take the halfback counter. Going to take it. Woods right up the middle. Dane Swatter finally brings him down. But he also gets cost for the face mask. So if it wasn't hard enough, we have two consecutive face mask penalties. And it gets them all the way down to the two-yard line already. Not wasting any time. And then they try to run it up the middle. Brandon Woods surprisingly gets stopped. We least... Get him off the field so it doesn't turn to another touchdown. That was very close to becoming touchdown number four for Brandon Woods. But again, this becomes another field goal. As we're down by three possessions, going to try to make something happen here. With less than a minute left, and that's going to help the cause. St. Volhelm, 33 yards. And Terrain Patton and company are going to get the troops to the line. As Patton will drop back, trying to throw over the middle. He was looking for that uh, slant pattern. But can't get it to go as he was hit as he threw. And now second and ten. Patton going to drop back. Throw quickly over to the right-hand side. Gets it out to St. Valhelm. Good for nine yards. And it leads to a third and short coming up here. We can save the timeout. And we only need one yard as well. So we're going to go ahead and try to run the read option. But it's blown up behind the line of scrimmage. Fourth down. Coming up for Earlham. Huge decision time. And they're going to go for it here, man. Fourth and four. Patton going to drop back. Nobody is open. Has to throw it away to avoid the sack. But it's going to be a turnover on down. So just could not get anything going. As that's going to take us into halftime as the handover Panthers have dominated this one early. We're down 24 to three, but we do get the ball to start the second half. All right, man, so second half officially underway. We got to play better, man. Got to play better on both sides of the ball if we want to try and come back and win this thing. As Patton will drop back. Throw to St. Valhelm, and on a third and six, makes the completion. First down for the Quakers. As we're on the move here now with a second and seven a couple plays later. Going to try to hit him with the play action and put John Evans into motion. As Patton will drop back. Throw quickly to Adam Pitts. He gets both feet down as well. Another first down for Earlham. As we're looking to score for the very first time since the first quarter. As a few plays later, facing third and 12. Thrown quickly over the middle and finds Adam Pitts once again. Good for 16 yards. Another first down. The non-custom recruit tight end coming through and putting in that work. As we have a first and 10 to work with now. Panvo. Having to run for his life and somehow turns some, nothing into something. A seven-yard game where if we thought we were going to get sacked, but thankfully we didn't. And now we have a second and three coming up here. Going to try to throw it quickly to the right-hand side. It's Jared Crosby, and they're going to get him with the face mask as well as they are going to call that on Hanover. Faked the screen and went the other way. John Lee calling for the penalty. And it leads us into a goal line situation just four yards away. Going to try to plow forward. 
with Aaron Ball who finds forward and gets some good yardage but there's another penalty this time it's holding and it's on our offense as well they caught Brian Smith is going to bring him back to the 12 yard line is now following that penalty Aaron Ball going to be set in the motion they send the blitz trying to throw it over the middle was looking for Aaron Ball but we overshot him incomplete pass and now a third and goal from the 12 yard line you hate to see it is now third and goal Patton going to try to set up the screen this time and they were certainly ready for it and Earl I'm gonna have to go ahead and settle for another field goal here but it doesn't really help us out too much we're still down 24 to 6 solid drive and it took off a lot of time off the clock but we're still down by three possessions despite that um uh, drive that we just had and Michael Carter he drops another good return as well if it takes him back to the 35 we need our defense to step up here and we really need a stop as now we got first and 10 coming up how gonna be set into motion as Maurice George will drop back throw over fine how over the middle and that's good for a first down and that gets him into Earlham territory once again as now first and 10 George dropping back Dropping a dot on the left-hand side. Gordon Johnson taking it to the house. 48 yards for the first passing touchdown of the day. And the Hanover Panthers now taking a 31-6 lead. So a quick response to the field goal that was made by the Earlham Quakers. And now in a very quick matter, the Earlham Quakers offense is back on the field. And we throw it back to Miami Thomas. He makes his first catch since he uh, went down with a minor injury. He bruised his elbow and he finally makes a little bit of a difference since coming back onto the field. As now we got second and 10 coming up here trying to get this uh, out route going. But it's not open it looks like as Patton will drop back. Gets it to Michael Mason the backup tailback who fights forward for 8 yards. Setting up a third and short coming up here. Patton under center going to hand it off to Aaron Ball. As they get blown up again by the line of scrimmage. And another fourth down coming, but we're not going to give up so easily. Coach giving us the opportunity to go for the fake punt. And we're taking it. Evans fighting for the first down marker and gets forward. Stepping out of bounds for a seven-yard gain. That's our fullback. Playing that punter position. And now we got a second and six coming up here. As Patton will drop back again but takes a sack. Another eight yard loss. Edmund James with his first sack of the day. And we now have a third and long once again. Trying to get it out to Aaron Ball. Who finds forward and picks up a grand total of one yard. The blocking was there but the execution was not. As that takes us to the end of this third quarter. Earlham down 31 to six. We'll see if we can finish strong here and try to play spoiler, but it's not looking good for us. So here we go, man. Fourth and 14, and we're in Hanover territory. So going to go for it all here, trying to throw it, and we actually do complete it to Jason Bell, but we don't throw it far enough, unfortunately. So despite the complete pass on fourth down, it wasn't enough. And we give the ball back over to the Panthers. And now they go to work outside the 40-yard line as George will drop back. Good trying to run up the middle of the field. Has some space to work with and does end up picking up the first down in the process. Good for 11 yards. As now a couple plays later, we do get him to a third and long. Would love to get him off the field, but it will only be a dream, though, as Orlando Williams makes an 11-yard catch. As now we have another first and 10 for Hanover. George will drop back. Throw to the left hand side. Finds Dukes down the sideline. Beautiful throw and catch. And it goes for 32. Setting up a goal line situation once again. And the Hanover Panthers. Looks like they'll get in with another touchdown for Brandon Woods. He takes it to the house once again. Touchdown number four for the Hanover running back. And that's going to do it here, man. Hanover taking care of business with ease. They beat us by a final score of 38-6 in order to remain alive in the MAC West title race. We'll now go ahead now and check out the stats for our guys just to go ahead and see 
how the cookie went ahead and crumbled right in front of us here today. Alright man, so another tough game and another big loss for us. This time we lose 38-6 to and it's just one of those things where we just couldn't get anything going whatsoever. It was a rough day for us. We played one of the best teams in the conference and it certainly showed out there. We'll go ahead now and check out the stats for our guys just to you know, see if there's any bright spots out here. So starting quarterback, Terrain, Patton, you know, got the start and, you know, it was a okay day for the most part 19 for 33 197 yards no touchdowns no interceptions uh john evans did come in he actually did throw a complete pass on a fake punt which you know we still couldn't convert on the ground game we couldn't get much going either but aaron ball led us in rushing yards we had 19 but nothing really to see here Receiving yards, uh, we're actually we had a different leading receiver this time around. Adam Pitts led the day. He had four catches for 46 yards. He wasn't the leading receiver, though. That was St. Ballhelm, but nobody got into the end zone for us here today, man. And then, of course, on the defensive side of the ball, Dane Slaughter actually led us in tackles out here today. He had nine total tackles. It's more, far more than anybody else out there on the field. Uh, we did have multiple TFLs from L Lonnie Morris. Same from Jerry Crosby and Anthony. Anthony, yes, he has the same first and last name. You got to love the NCAA random names. But, yeah, he did get a sack out there as well. But, I mean, again, no turnovers out there today, man. It's it's tough out here for sure. Um, yeah, we got to figure this out, man, if we want to keep our job as the coach. So, for our final episode of the series the Earlham Quakers are going to go ahead and take on the Anderson Ravens on the road they're seven and four on the year let's see if we can play spoiler a little bit and see if we can get one more win to end season one should be a good one so make sure you smash that like button as well as hit subscribe if you have to be brand new to the channel and like what you see as well this is John Jack Gaming on the mic signing off but hoping you guys are all out there having a wonderful day Take care, everybody.